Yeah. If I click on the right button. Now it's time for the classroom. <laughs> Advice on making gold via the auction house, professions, and more. Okay. So, I'm going to start off with Shin. And he put up uh, he put up a little post that is basically asking asking the question has gold making changed? Now he has not been in a while since roughly uh, Mr. Pandaria, and there have been a lot of changes that went to gold making between this expansion that we're in and Mr. Pandaria. So. Have you seen this post yet, Dead Greed? And you know, what I, would you have I to did, say about this? I didn't read the post, but I have a lot of opinion on, on this matter. Go for it. You know, I, I don't know why they drastically changed all their professions so much in Warlords, but they, to me, to me personally, they have really killed the gold making market. I mean, if you think JC was such a main stay stable in the gold in the gold marking, uh, with the removal of, of gems, you know, it's just a, you, you may get a gem slot, you may not. Uh, with the removal of gems from gearing and trying to make it easier, you know, where you don't have so many enchants and you don't have so many gems in your gear anymore, and then not to mention the fact that you can't even proc or you can't even um, process the new ore from Draenor. I think that was a huge mistake. Uh, I really don't understand. I mean, all these, they got all these cooldowns, you know, you have to, and everybody. The one thing I really don't like about the professions is I'm a JC or I'm a tailor or I'm, you know, whatever. I'm a blacksmith. But it doesn't matter because anybody can just make stuff from right. the blacksmithing profession or from the JCs. All you have to do is get a building in your garrison. To me, that was a huge mistake. I mean, yeah, it was a cool idea. And at first, I was like, oh, this is awesome because I'll be able to, you know, I'll be able to make this gym or I'll be able to do this or I'll be able to do that on my character. But they really took a lot of power from the from the player. And... Um, you know, there's just there there is ways there's ways in Janor to make money, but it ain't nothing like it used to be. Well, I think what Blizzard did is they I, I wanna say that they overstepped their bounds. Really, because once everybody and it's not just the buildings, it was the mine and the herb garden and it was just nah. Yeah, exactly. I mean or is just, uh, or has always been a great source of income. Mm -hmm. You know, if you wanted to grind it out, you could go out there, you could fly around, you could get ore, or ride around in your mountain, get ore if you're that person. But, <laughs> but anyway, you know, it was always something that you could do. But when they gave ore to every single character in Draenor, that that, that killed it. It just takes the, the, the wind out of my cells mm -hmm. because it's it's no longer worth my time. Yep. And it just and then uh, anyway, everybody knows what happened and it just it just goes along with that line of, of and um you know, with you could just do anything you wanted and you didn't you know, and then another thing I really don't like is they took away the rating buff from the professions. I mean I understand what they're trying to do. But to me, that was a huge mistake on Blizzard's part. I, I'm really, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do in Draenor because you know they're talking about these quest lines and and you know let's get back, let's get back into being a blacksmith or let's get back into being a tailor or whatever you want to be. Let's get back into that. You know, let's get back into some story behind that. Let's let's push your character. Let's have fun again because now the professions are not fun because what, I mean, you know. You go in the you do a mission and you get like a little scroll that says, "Hey, you know, you can instantly get five cloth or whatever." 
Right. Then you run up to your building, and you put some cloth in the little box, then you hit your little scroll, and bam, there's five of them ready. It, it's just not fun. It, it, I think they just removed a lot of the, uh, and, and that's their number one philosophy, I think. You know, that you hear them talking about it all the time, that their number one philosophy is fun first. And that's what matters the most. Out of, out of, and that's why their games are so polished. That's why their games are so good. Right. But when you remove that element, when you get away from that fun first, I, I think you hurt the game. And, and here, I think they've hurt the gold-making market in a major way. Now, let me, let me say this. As far as Draenor goes, the raid tiers, I love the raid tiers. Right now, I think I think they hit a home run there. Leveling, the leveling was experience was second to none. Okay, that was another home run that they hit. As far as what the gold making goes, that fell flat on its face. They know that. They have already said that they're taking garrisons out completely. I think that's a bit of an overreaction, but so be it. But I do want to see one thing going into Legion. And I, and I want to see maybe a little bit more of this one thing. The, the, um, the unique three, you know, the equip unique three from Warlords. If you know what I'm talking about, whether it be um, your, your upgraded 640s to 670s, whatever. Instead of it just being three slots, I want to see it go to five slots going into the next expansion. Now, if you want to keep the cooldowns and everything like that, hey, I'm fine with that. Okay. I don't want to have everybody to have a mine or an herb garden or a profession building or whatever. The, that stuff, I think, is going to be put back to its uh, original spots. But, like I said, I think for profession-wise, the that Warlords 3, what I'm calling it, was quite possibly the best idea out of the profession <laughs> thing. And I think that's something that they, that they should keep. But expand it from 3 to 5. Everything else... Let's just wipe the board, start over again. Yeah, I I I really really like because um, I'm a tailor, Greed's a tailor, and he's a mage also. Mm -hmm. And I really like the fact that I had made gear for myself this entire expansion. Nothing was worthless. Uh, I always felt like gear from a profession completely worthless. Um, you know, once you do a five band dungeon. Uh, and, and you get some gear, and you start uh, you start into your first uh, main raid. Uh, usually in, in Warcraft, none of your professions stuff was any good after that. So it was just like wow. a, you know, I really like the fact that they did do that. Uh, that was a great thing. I hope they continue that part. Um, but as, as far as uh, everybody having a mine and a herb garden and everything and this and that and uh, they could throw that out the window I'm not interested in that yeah the main reason why they did that is because they looked at what happened at Sun Song Ranch their Mr. Pandaria and said ooh that turned out to be such a great idea let's put it over in Warlords of Draenor except let's do this no <laughs> no but I, I do have a small complaint here. Okay. Look, they started with the garrison, and it was cool at first, and, oh, and it was fun. Uh, but then it got to where it was just ugh, way too much. And Blizzard kind of has a reputation for being way on the right or way on the left. And um, I'm That's still kind of mad at Blizzard for nerfing all the stuff that they nerfed, like they did all the garrison nerfs, because... As a gold maker, 
I always jump around and, you know, I try to do this or that or, you know, I have my little flips or I have this or that. And they, and since they destroyed, like, the transmog market and, and so many of the market, the ore market, the, the herb market, the, the alchemist market, since they destroyed all that stuff, I was doing my garrisons and I was making a fair amount of money on my garrisons. Everybody knows it's beginning expansion and garrisons were just... I think some people busted a, a full level cap. Or a, oh, full, yeah, a full did. gold cap just off their garrisons. I mean, yeah, maybe it was a little too much, but uh, when they nerfed it, uh, I literally just quit. I didn't, I don't even mess with my garrison stuff anymore. I may run a mission every now and then, but before I was really hard on that running missions, running missions, getting boxes, turning in. You know, it was a lot of fun, but then they totally yanked it out from under me. And I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of mad at Blizzard about that. That's, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons why, maybe I don't play as much right now. Well, I, I think one thing about profession gear, okay, that's mainly catch-up gear or whatever. It's not meant to stay with you. Okay. Now, ask Mr. Robot could actually say something different, which is beneficial for us gold makers <laughs> you know but it's not supposed to be you know something that could help you out there in raids it's supposed to help you get into dungeons and then the dungeons help you get into raids and blah 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 it's all supposed to be progression type so the profession gear yeah I, w I would get that totally or going in from one raid to another But. Well, like I said, I, I I do I do like the gear. Uh, you know, you you can upgrade your gear. You can buy, and you know, you can sell those upgrades, or you can buy those upgrades if that's if that's what you want to do. Uh, you can farm materials right. and and make the upgrade. That's a great thing. Uh, I I really enjoy the fact that you can level your gear and it can stay with you. I I still wear uh like I'm I'm wearing a cloak. I'm still wearing a six to six upgraded cloak. Mm -hmm. I, I I feel like. That was a great step. Just the other stuff, eh, not so much. Yeah, that's uh, that's true. That's true. Um. Anyway, moving on. See that the gold queen put up a post too, and she's talking about the treasures of Pandaria. Now she goes into how much can you farm. She says about 2,000 gold just for picking up items from the ground and clicking treasure items. And each item can be looted, interacted with only one per character. If you have 11 characters, you can do this 11 times. So that's 22,000 gold. And she, she gets into a lot of... Uh, a lot of good stuff in a lot of different uh, places where you can get all these treasures there too. What do you think about uh, doing or farming treasures in uh, Pandaria? You know, this is something I like to do. Uh, you know, if I'm like, you know, if I got a movie on or something, and and I'm kind of just flying around, relaxing. You know, I, I'm not in a raid or nothing, and I just kind of want to fly around and just get some stuff. And this is, I, I've done a lot of that in um, in Draenor, and I've even sold a lot of the treasures in Draenor flight pathing. You know, you you pick up a, one of your buddies and you fly him around getting treasures, so they can get as a flying achievement. But uh, also in Pandaria, if you get your you know handy notes, which I've talked about before. Uh, handy notes it's pretty easy to find these treasures uh, with the handy notes add-on you just fly around it's pretty relaxing you know it's stress-free oh, you don't have to fight over uh, between different characters because uh, you know like or sometimes like if you're flying around with ore, sometimes you land on it and then somebody else lands on it. You're both trying to pick it at the same time and you kind of get in a little scuffle. And then you go to the next one and that same guy's there. Well, these treasures are, you know, they're for you only, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's kind of, you know, it's like a little relaxing. You fly around, you get it on at 2,000 gold. And plus uh, a lot of the other items sell and you, you can pick up a lot of BOAs, stuff like that. It's, uh, it's pretty pretty nice. 
Yeah, especially if you're doing something, like you said, you know, watching a movie, could be listening to music. I could have Hearthstone on one screen. I could be, you know, tooling around on Warcraft on another screen. You know, if you boosted a character to 90, you're not going to have any of this stuff on that character. Probably, probably not. I wouldn't think right. so anyway, because... If you boosted one to ninety, you probably went to the Time of Isles and got some gear, or you know, ran straight to Draenor and started leveling to a hundred. That's uh, that's very true, and a lot of that stuff, like the exotic leather, you know, going into Mistide leggings. Yep, that could you could take your chances down in the auction house if you want to, but she's suggesting vendor them. And that could make you a lot of gold if you know how to craft it and know how to sell it. It's kind of like one of the videos that uh, that Ruckles did. He was making a lot of uh, back pieces from Mr. Mm, Pandaria. Yeah. Just, just bags upon bags, bags full. And all he was doing was he was just vendoring, 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 vendoring. And he was just making about forty, fifty thousand 50,000 gold right there on the spot. So he had to save up all of that cloth to do it. But it's under that same thought process. If you save up your materials, you, you do all that. You can vendor it and make a whole bunch of gold. Now, one last thing from the Wolf of Warcraft. And here he's talking about transferring gold from one realm to another. <laughs> I mean, he goes into pretty good detail, too. And I would agree that limits are annoying. From 10 yeah. to 30, 300 gold. From 31 to 50, 1,000 gold. 51 to 70, 5,000 gold. 71 to 80, 20,000 gold in 80, 81 plus in levels, 50,000 gold. You know, I started off on um, on a server, and, and uh, I followed my guild to another server, and that was mm -hmm. a long time ago, and I had left, I left millions of gold on that server. And uh, I've played on about six different servers, and every time I've server changed, it always like this huge heartburn, like teeth gritting, because you know you you're allowed to take fifty thousand gold with you unless you take a guild bank. But we'll talk about that in a minute. But yep, that's another thing. It's it's always such an annoying thing for me. I almost wish that gold was just a count bound, and you didn't. I mean, I wish they would do it. It would solve a lot of problems. I understand yeah. why they don't because of gold farmers, and it would make it a lot exactly. easier for gold farmers. So I understand that. But um, oh man, I've lost so many millions of gold because of, because of this right here, because of the fact that you can only take 50k with you. And um, there's even been a couple servers I transferred didn't even take money. I did just started a new character. So. Yeah. To me, it would be nice if I could have some of my gold, like if I could just mail my gold to another character. But again, gold farming, I guess they're they are ruining that for us. Uh, or I wish there was some wow. way to pay, you know, like a, a character transfer, like a gold transfer. I wish that was in the uh, services, but uh, unfortunately they don't have that. So you just got to go in there and grind more gold. Well, the problem there is you still got the gold farmers. So if they want yeah. to transfer gold from one character to another, well, that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, like I said, I understand all that. I understand why they don't do it. I just, I would like to have, be able to have the ability to do it. I, I, but I understand why, why they don't. Right. And... Really, by any other way that you could do it, you're either going to lose out in gold or you're going to you're going to lose out in cash. So if you want to go transfer back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, there's no point in doing that because you're you're going to be losing how much 
money there in gold transfer or how much money in uh, character transfers just to transfer 50,000 gold from one server to another. The, the last time I, I moved, I moved to Airy Peak, which is where I play now with uh, Converter Raid. Yep. Um, but the last time, I bought a bunch of pets and I bought a bunch of uh, materials it, to bring with me purposely to sell on the, on the Airy Peak auction house, which took a little bit of research. I went to the Undermine Journal and I looked at Airy Peak's auction house and I said, okay, these items are high price items that sell. So I bought them intentionally on my server, even sometimes for more gold than I sold them, right. you know, I sold them for, but, you know, I was able to take 50k with me and a bag full of items. So I basically picked a bunch of items that were high priced. Uh, I knew, you know, some of those items I paid 20k for, maybe I'd get 15 on my server, but that's 15,000 more gold, you know, that I could bring with me, basically. I mean, yeah, it cost me five grand, but I wasn't going to play on the other server anymore. Right, and really, about the only way you can do it is if you have your own guild bank. Kind of what he gets into here uh, about doing guild transfers. Just uh, move your guild bank from wherever you were playing to wherever you are playing now. Yeah, but again, for me, uh, somebody that's you know way beyond the gold cap, uh, okay, I can only bring a million with me because... I mean, how many of these freaking guilds am I going to pay for? You know what I mean? It's so much easier just to go to a new server and start a new guild, especially if it's kind just what a new I did, guild yeah. bank. <laughs> I kind of did the same thing you did. Just, just start all over again. Yeah, and sometimes, you know, it's fun to uh, to go to these, um, you know, to go to a new server and just put nothing, right? You, I mean, no BOAs, no nothing. Just mm -hmm. start out, scratch... But of course now they have the the account wide BOAs, which is awesome. Yeah, I got to yes. give Blizzard a, a a major applause for that. I'm su super. It is awesome. Yeah, that's super awesome. So now you don't have to start with just absolutely zero, but you can start with no gold. You know, it, it is fun. Um, what was his um name from last show? Jesus, I was drawing a blank. What are you saying, Reckles? No, no. um, I think it's the Wolf of Wolf of, of Warcraft, Wolf right? Balls. That's doing that. The, the the video the blogs yes. yes that's the wolf of warcraft same guy yeah yeah same guy and uh, so i uh, and like i said last time i i am really interested in what he's doing there because i've done that before and i've actually thought about recording and i've just never recorded it well he is doing uh show number two up on youtube i think he already posted it so that would be a very interesting uh watch right there yeah, I'm interested in it. I didn't. Uh, I didn't see the notification. I subscribed. I should have seen a, a show two notification. I guess I didn't see it. Well, th sometimes that shows up in your email. Sometimes that doesn't. That's a YouTube huh. thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, e either way, I, I am gonna right. watch that series because, like I said, I'm I'm interested in it. Um, I have started on other realms and didn't bring nothing. Uh, the last time I did move to Airy Peak, I mean, you know, I, I I took a lot of gold loss, but you know, when you start over, that's you know, when you make that decision to go to another guild or go to another server, that's the that's the things you have to keep in mind. You know, I've, I'm I can't bring all my gold. I I don't want to spend, uh, you know, I, how many ever dollars, you know, to move how many ever characters. I moved eleven characters when I moved, so it was it was expensive. Yeah. Yeah, that I, I was thinking about doing that with another or with a tune that I have uh, on the horde side because I ne I kind of need one in Earth and Ring, <laughs> but yeah. I haven't done it yet. It's a PvP server, so I'm <laughs> not no, not gonna <laughs> no. I just keep getting ganked and ganked well, and ganked and ganked. Well, luckily I've always played Alliance and. Uh convert to raid as an alliance guild so luckily it, i didn't have to switch from horde to alliance because that's even way more oh man that's it's a faction change and to server change I, it's expensive oh, no, no, i think no, no, it's no, fifty dollars no no, no 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 my my tunes on earth and ring are horde 
So yeah, I understand that. But if you moved, if you moved whatever. one of your tunes from, like, say, Earth and Ring over to Convert to Raid, it would be like fifty-five dollars or something. Well, see, that's why I transferred from uh, Anvilmar, which is where still I got some Alliance characters over there, over to Airy Peak. So I kept Alliance, Alliance, and I kept Horde, Horde. Yeah. Okay, with, without doing any uh, major, major. Uh, character changes. I did do a couple but only because I wanted to with it you know, with that tune but anything else was just different. Uh, an another great way to move money and I I wish Hava was here because Hava is just super expert about this oh, and there's a lot it? more than I do and that's pets. Pets pets pets. Um, oh hang on. Oh pets 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 Yeah that one. <laughs> yeah that one <laughs> <laughs> she's such, uh, she's such a, a good, a great person to talk about this. I maybe we can get her to talk about it on the next show, but um, you know, you don't even. It doesn't cost you anything because you can just buy a pet on, say, Earth and Ring, and then you can just sell it on Airy Peak. Awesome. Yeah, totally. Because that would be the easiest way to transfer gold from one server to another. Because pets. Hey, guess what? Once you collect a pet, so long as you can cage it, you, it goes right into your pet journal, and it's yep. in every single pet journal that you have. Every single one. So, and and really, uh, Shin's in the chat room, and that, and he does bring up a good point. You do have to find out what sells on the realm that you're selling that you're selling your pets on oh yeah I, I seriously wouldn't suggest buying just random pets and just randomly trying to sell them somewhere right do your research know your market like I always say that know your market go to your undermine journal know what you're doing before you even start with that because you can end up costing yourself a ton of gold and then uh, it, once you get behind in the gold making game, it's oh, and use add-ons really. Yes. Uh, <laughs> please holly. don't go to the auction house without an add-on. And if you if you don't know what add-ons we use, we could talk about that. Maybe I'll do an add-on section next week, or maybe I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Well, let's see. You got yours. I got uh, I got mine. <laughs> that that could be like a whole different show. Just. Doing oh yeah, well, I could do an entire show on <laughs> what add-ons you need, and not to even mention what add-on setup. I mean, just telling you about add-ons, I could do a whole show on that. I could do a whole show on just setting up well, just one add-on. You know, I could <laughs> I could talk about it for a long time. Well, that's something we could do next week, possibly, unless something else comes up. Because I think, you know, that there are certain pets, you know, pets. I think uh, there may be an add-on for that. You know, you still have different, uh, the Undermine Journal add-on. Um, of course, you have tra tra um. yeah, Trade Skill Master, Auctioneer, Auctionator. You know, it, as far as what those go, it's whatever best works for you. So, You know, the crazy thing about add-ons is there's even paid add-ons that people use. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the paid add-ons uh, because I think that the free add-ons that you get from Curse are, are I don't see an advantage over having the paid add-on. Maybe that's just me. Yeah. There can be. But even then, those add-ons require another add-on. So it's kind of like, why bother? You know. Now, hey, look, if, if you if you have a paid add-on that you just absolutely love, hey, throw us an email. Talk about it. You know, maybe we don't know. Maybe we're just, maybe we just don't know. Exactly. Throw us an email. Definitely, definitely. Anyway, I will put all of these up on the post, all three of these links. So that way everybody can read up as to um, where are the spots at for Miss Pandaria. You know, what was Shen talking about and what was the Wolf of Warcraft talking about. So that's it for us. 
All right, people, it's time to end the podcast now. So, how can the players get a hold of you? <laughs> and I'm going to have you go first, Dead Greed. <laughs> All right, you can find the show live at 3 p.m. on Channel 2. Tune in to alphageekradio.com and the TuneIn app. And you can also find us live on the bumblebeenet.com slash live at 2.30 p.m. on Saturdays. Don't worry, I'm not shutting down the Your Wild Money one just yet. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, if you don't want to listen to us live, you can hear us on Stitcher, iTunes, or where other podcasts are found. And if you're on the site, you can use the speak pipe on the bottom of the page. You can also find us on Twitter at Your Well Money, Facebook at Your Well Money Cast, and at LinkedIn.com slash in slash Your Well Money. You're up. Uh, you can find Hava at Twitch TV, Lady Hava, or at Lady Hava, or at LadyHavaYourMoney.com. <laughs> and you can find Reckles at YouTube.com forward slash WTB Gold Wow. Or you can find them on Twitter at Ryan A. Eccles. You can find the most awesomest Dead Greed on Twitter at Dead Greed 1812 and on Twitch at Twitch TV Dead Greed 1812. And you can find me on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash Joe Brums. Mouth catch up the brain. Uh, at Joe Brums on Twitter and Joe at yourwellmoney.com. And if you like what we do, you can support us on patreon.com forward slash bbnet. Well, that was an interesting show. I think it's time to go watch some football and watch some more Heroes of the Storms, if that's still playing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm excited about the Heroes. I mean, come on, it's Heroes of the Storm. How can you not watch it? Well, I tell you what, if... If, 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 if everything plays out, or once all these tournaments for Heroes of the Storm uh, is all played out, I might have my picks up on the uh, Bridge of Sports podcast and might do it again on a future Your Wild Money podcast. <laughs> Just to get your guys' picks. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm interested in that. <laughs> That's going to be a fun one. Anyway... It's time to go. So until next week, you guys can go get your gold on. Get your gold on! Just, uh, be, just be sure that, that, well, you know, things are just going to be slow. <laughs> okay, brain's not working at all now. It's time to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. This show is a part of the Bumblebee Network. You can find out more information about this show or the network at bumblebeenet.com. That is B U M B L E B net.com. This podcast recorded before a live internet audience. To learn how to listen and watch live, visit tunein.alphageekradio.com. And that.